Hey everybody, this is a developer diary for the next version of Beaker. And this is going to be the first in the series, so I'm just going to focus on one particular topic each time I do these. And uh, all this is still in beta, so a lot of it could change. Um, but here's where we're at right now, and it's looking like it's starting to get pretty stable. What I'm going to show right now is uh, websites, uh, how you build them, um, what the tooling is like. So I'm going to go over to the library, which takes all of my contacts, my bookmarks, and every hyperdrive I create and puts them in a nice view for me. And I'm going to create a new uh, website, which is a kind of hyperdrive. And so this drops us into the new website. Nothing in there yet, but we're being prompted why we create a page. So I'm going to use Markdown since that's my preference. And uh, an editor uh, that's attached to the browser and just opened up on the left side there. So I'll go ahead and and uh, so I can just work on the page from the editor here. And as I make changes, it'll automatically refresh. So it's very handy. All right, and you can do a lot of work through the editor. There's a Files Explorer over here where you can add files and make changes and things like that. But I'm going to instead use another tool that were recently added, which is the Files Explorer application. And now we're looking at the exact same hyperdrive, my great new website. And we're looking at the files listing here. And this is the markdown uh, of the index.md. And if I wanted to, I could use the inline editor in here as well. And why don't I create a new tab? And so here's the website. So I can switch between these views, the Files Explorer or the actual website. And these views are actually user land applications. So it's going to be possible to create other applications that can become views of, of your hyperdrives. That's another topic I'll get into another day. So why don't we add some cat pictures? I'm going to use the import tool here. All right, so I'm just going to add these two here. And those names are a little off, so let's give them more understandable names. Sasha, my picture's upside down, we're not going to worry about that. And so let's go back to the index, and let's just add those images there. And let's go ahead and refresh here, and I don't know, yeah, that kit pick is way too big, so let's add some styles here to fix the width of 600 pixels. I don't really need them to be any bigger than that. Okay, there we go. And uh, so now I can edit my pages through this file explorer, or I can use the editor on the side over here to do the same kind of work. Maybe we want a little smaller. Yeah, we'll do. And I can explore and edit the files using this file explorer. And this is the state of our tooling for working on websites. So that wraps up the first dev diary on website creation and tooling inside of Beaker. Uh, thanks for watching.